Welcome to this tutorial which will teach you about the function of a place and also its characteristics. Let us look at the function. A function is what a place does and we can categorise functions. For example, a town or city may have a business function, it may be educational or industrial, there may be a high level of tourism there, it may be a place of uh, accessibility, docks, railways, or it may be a place of political administration. Those are types of functions. Now let's take a look at a map to see if we can find clues about the function of a place. I've chosen Windsor here partly because there are a number of blue symbols. Blue symbols represent tourism, so we can assume that Windsor has a function of tourism. Also, Windsor has two railway stations, and we can assume, make a geographical guess, that Windsor perhaps is a commuter town. To the south of the map, there is the word barracks. Um, this is a place of military importance, so we might assume that Windsor has a military function. And the fact that there is a police station, a fire station, a library, has a sense that Windsor has a civil function um, for its community. Now it's your turn. Have a look at this map. Can you identify any functions? Reminder of what the functions are. Tourism, education, admin, industrial, transport, for example. Hopefully, you've identified these large buildings here. Next to the word motor works, or works, we can infer that this has an industrial function. And indeed, it is a place called Cowley, South East Oxford, where they make the BMW Mini. Now have a go at this particular map. What functions can you see? Your eyes might be drawn to the blue symbols here, which I've indicated are tourist facilities. So yes, this place has an important tourism function, but in addition to that, we can see evidence of education, university departments, colleges, more colleges, and more colleges. So evidence that education is a very important function of this place, which is in fact a map of Oxford. So that was function. Let's now look at characteristics of places. What are characteristics of places? Well, there can be all sorts of things in geography, including housing, the relief of the land, transport pattern, the drainage of an area, whether it's coastal and the type of vegetation there. So let's take a look at this map of Henley on Thames. And we can see that there are a number of roads which lead into and out of Henley in a sort of radial pattern. We can also see from this map that there are a number of contour lines and they are close together indicating that the relief of the Henley-on-Thames area is rather steep. We would say the land is hilly or perhaps undulating. In terms of vegetation, well there is some woodland here, probably deciduous, um, but the white areas that you see here um, I would suggest that the uh, land use here, vegetation-wide, would be crops, um, indicated by the number of farms. Um, and the drainage here is very good. We can see one main river here, the River Thames, and apart from a few streams, the land is very well drained, indicating that probably the geology is permeable, perhaps a chalk so lots can be gleaned from looking at a map to identify the characteristics of a place. And finally, let's take a look at another location, Soham, Cambridgeshire, and to see what characteristics there are of this place. Um, let's look at the housing. Uh, the housing is generally located in a line pattern, a linear pattern along the main roads in and out of Soham. The drainage is poor. We can see a lot of surface streams, drainage channels. 
perhaps an impermeable geology, a clay of sorts. Um, the vegetation, very few woodland areas here. Again, the number of farms here indicate that there is probably um, uh, crops growing. And the transport pattern um, from Soham, again, probably in a radial pattern um, outwards. Finally, the lack of contour lines, there's a couple, indicate that the land is flat in terms of its relief.